Hi guys, welcome to my channel Conversation Corner. My name is Kunal and on my channel I talk about how words can influence your beliefs, your actions and your worldview. People when they become adults, they start drifting apart whether that's children from parents, whether that's friends from friends and in the worst case scenario, a spouse taking a divorce from another spouse. We've seen time and time again that <coughs> relations that we thought would last forever just dissipate in a couple of weeks, months, sometimes years. Why does that really happen and what really keeps a relationship together, whatever that may be? I want to give a new perspective here and that's why I've coined this video as the common tray. Think about the times that you were close together with, you were close and together to someone, maybe to your friends or uh, maybe to your parents in your home when you were a child. Everything had a third person, right? When you were in school, the third person was the school, so to speak. And getting a common education there was necessary. So that's why you and your friend were together. When you were a child, you needed your parents' home for food, clothing and provisioning. Now, if you perhaps don't live with them, the reason is you can take care of your food, clothing and additional provisioning. Spouses growing apart can be um, one person not meeting the needs or someone's needs changing during the course of the marriage. So every time there is a person who veers away from the common path or every time the third person in the relationship changes, often the relationship dissolves. So when there is no common cause to hold people together, generally people, they uh, split ways, they, they each go their own way. So you may be asking, what exactly does the commentary have to do with that? Well, this was a thought experiment that I coined. Maybe someone might have come up with this before, but nonetheless, I'm putting this idea in front of you. Imagine you and another person are <coughs> holding a, a tray and that tray has uh, piles of food stacked on it and it has to be carried very carefully because if it's not carried carefully the food will spill and fall now imagine that you and another person are in charge of this tray and you have been told that if the contents from the tray fall down both of you are going to be shot i'm pretty sure you and that person concerned will do their level best to ensure that the tray is carried carefully to the table where it needs to be put down and then the food can be served so the tray in this example is the third person or the North Star of whatever the relation may be. So as long as that North Star is there, people will stick together. In the army, for example, the North Star is staying together to fight the common enemy on the battleground. In an education center, the common North Star is passing the exams and collaborating with your classmates to learn and revise the exam content. So if you are keen on seeing a relationship last during your lifetime, you really need to know what the common North Star of that relationship is. And if there is no such common North Star, there's a very good chance that as time passes, the relationship could dissolve. So before you make promises and grand gestures of being together for a long time or forever, understand what this common North Star is and seek it out vigorously and then maintain that. Of course, over the course of your life, your priorities will change, your values will change. So keep revising this from time to time to know what really matters to you. And basis that understand which relationships may last and which relationships may not. You'll also need to bear in mind that someone else's North Star in their lifetime could change. Maybe having a career was really important for someone at some point in time, but now being a great parent takes precedence. So beware of your own North Star, beware of the other person's North Star, or in this case, as I would call it, be aware of the commentary and the responsibility of carrying the contents of that carefully.